So how to build your own Euro rack? Keep it small in the beginning and try to keep it below 1000 euro. It's possible and here's a reasonable example how to do this. First you buy a case, a small one, don't buy a big one because you might find yourself in I don't need that much more modules, it's going to be too big in the end. Of course you can stack different modules, uh, so don't buy one where everything is empty. For a beginner, take a small system. You will have years to understand alone this, so keep that in mind. We to I told you, keep it below 1000 euros. What to buy? The first thing to buy is Microbrute Arturia. Why Microbrute? I got this red one. It's a matter of taste if you need the red one. Because Microbrute, uh, uh, Microbrute has got this uh, gate uh, and pitch um, patches, uh, possibility to patch it here, and you can patch LFO. Some things you will get into when you're coping with module is to understand what's going on here. So you've got this patch uh, possibilities of the microboot and, and it's analog, it's not digital. Because it doesn't make sense to make modular and doing digital, you can di have this on different platforms. I thought I want to have analog because I have this here and uh, I uh, thought to myself I want to keep it analog. So microboot, it's about 300 uh, euro in uh, Germany, maybe in the US it's cheaper, I don't know. Uh, and it's a la nice uh, uh, little machine because it's done by very professional uh, people who know modular systems, even the big ones, like EVC. I don't know if you know him. So, uh, how to connect this one uh, to the uh, and to the Euro rack? First of all, you need some modules in here. Which ones do you need? You got a VCO, you got an LFO, and everything is in here already. So this is sort of a modular, but it's patched inside. Uh, you have and you have the patch co uh, possibility to patch to this one. Uh, I bought, and you can buy different things, but I found this very reasonable. I bought a VCO, of course, to have a second VCO. Compare, uh, uh, I can connect to this one and can tune to this one. Uh, I, I've got a VCF. This is a, sh a special VCF. It's not going into self resonance. It's the A106.5. Uh, uh, then I got a, an LFO, of course. This is a complicated LFO uh, or a better LFO with its own VS, uh, VCA built in and a delay function and you can switch be between polarity and uh, attenuating here uh, with the knobs. Uh, then uh, of course you need an ADSR, an envelope generator and in the end uh, the DVCA uh, to put everything out into the amp. Um, so you can uh, into the amp there goes this one and this one so if you have stereo or you get it mono and you get sounds like this. Or better sound or whatever. Uh, the point is uh, you, you of always think about using a MIDI interface here. You don't need it because the microboot is MIDI interface already and it works. You can uh, connect it via USB to your DAW but Cubase do a few sequences in Cubase, Cubase plays it back uh, and via uh, MIDI to CV converter in the microbrute you can play uh, the Eurorack, so that's very convenient. The other thing is uh, if you want to do techno you need a drum machine. Take a, a digital, uh, an analog drum machine by MFB uh, or whatever, uh, you've got to find out that it's very expensive. You, the, the, the bucks you're going to pay for this one you will pay for uh, that double. So uh, to put it on there uh, uh, will cost you a fortune. For that money you can buy different models like I would extend it now with the next VCO then uh, taking a noise generator, ring modulation, um, some sample and hold, the, uh, s uh, some matrix here, some, some um, mixer, then it's uh, filled up and it's more I would ever use uh, in the next year, I can tell you. All these big th systems, I'm not sure if people really understand what's going on. It's, it's fun to work with it, but if you want to understand what's going on, if you plug this to there, allow to understand this LFO here, it takes you weeks if you have the time. Yes, to really understand what's going on, keep it small, keep this, and this is nearly overkill for somebody who's starting. Uh, but if you want to have a drum machine in the oven, or a drum machine like this one, and it's MIDI capable, you can use the MIDI input of the microbrute to trigger uh, the sequencer that's also in the microbrute. You can spare a sequence in Euro, right? It's also 300 bucks. Uh, just use the one from the microbrute. This is a sequencer here. You can put in 
different patterns and then you start the drum machine and everything is in sync and while the drum machine is running you can change everything of it over here so this is what i'm going to show you in the next short video uh, without words then i will write which modules i use here what uh, what is used and how it's connected to each other and you hear it in a better sound quality and just as a starting point i found i have enough to do for the next half year minimum to understand this as i had to understand this ems sense here if you really want to get in uh, look on mathwiggler.com on sequencer.com on all these websites there's enough explanations even on that for itself you have uh, the possibility to combine some modules one with the other and uh, have a look if uh, the voltage they need is provided by the um, uh, plug-in here so there's a lot of things to think about and so in the beginning it's better start with that and after that you might find yourself expanding it I do this a couple of weeks now and don't have the feeling that I reach anywhere uh, in, into the possibilities of what might be possible with, with the system here. So I wait now, I wait and then when there's birthday or Christmas, whatever, I add a few modules. And, but then I have a, a stable basis of what I'm doing here. And it's not about turning some knobs and, and you can do this, it's like Lego and do something. That's very meditative, it's okay. But um, on the other hand, if you really want to understand this and want to precisely know where you're going, which sound you want to create and what happens there with the LFO and, and, the, and the filter and from where and don't put it up uh, until the end all the time. Uh, you, in analog systems you only do a little bit manipulations here and everything will be totally different then. So that's my advice and now uh, a lot of talking, you can, might hear something I do with this and uh, I write some comments down there.